What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Tank Friday. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little video about how I clean my glass. At first I was using a piece of filter floss and kind of scraping it clean, but I noticed that I was still getting some scratches. So I decided to let that go and every two weeks when I do my water changes, I just scrape the glass with a razor. I use this flipper as well and it literally on the first try like the pad ripped off and it was getting like stuck and scraping like my whole glass was almost destroyed. Now I just use the razor and I scrape it. It takes some time but I only do it once every two weeks. Sometimes I even skip a water change. Just depends. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. We're doing new fish tank videos every Friday so hit that subscribe button and tune in while we grow this Red Sea Max 250 tank. Well, while I grow it and you watch, but. All right, so if you look at my glass, you, it's kind of hard to see like here because it keeps focusing, but you see all this coralline, coralline algae growing up, growing the coralline algae growing on the glass. That's a tongue twister. And the, the like regular algae dirt that could just be scraped off right now, but the razor gets it all off. In terms of growth, the tank itself is doing really good. As you see, these zoas are growing like out of control right now. Duncan's got some new heads coming out. Finally, the rose bubble tip anemone opened up again. I think it might be splitting. It looks a little funky. I don't know if you guys know if I've never experienced an anemone splitting. If you think this looks like it's splitting, like here where the where it's kind of like um, it's kind of like crumpling up. Like, I don't know, that looks like it's splitting to me. Let me know if you know. I, I don't know. On the bubble gum, that little finger that I, that fell off, that I glued back on, stayed put. And I have a new head growing at the top. Um, everything else, everything else is doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and start to scrape in. I'm gonna open up the tank now. kind of like the top your arm I mean at least my arm gets tired because I go kind of slow because I'm pretty much panicked the entire time but I do the top half first before I have to go like real deep down to the bottom so I'm gonna go around and I just put the the razor on the glass like this and kind of just kind of just chip away at the algae and you'll obviously see it's getting cleaned For the top, it's kind of uh, difficult to reach to, so I go kind of sideways and just go real slow. And you gotta kind of, it's hard to see the lights. But just take it slow, so if like something's going wrong, um, you can kind of see it and hopefully catch it before it's a disaster. Since I don't do this all the time, I'm kind of a little bit more meticulous and I kind of Focus in on all the points that I'm that I'm trying to scrape off, all the algae. And I just take my time. It takes me a while. I'm not gonna lie, it takes me it takes me a bit. But when it's done, it looks going sideways seems to be working a little better for me. Alright, that top half. Done. Let's let's see if, if you could see the difference on the camera. All the specks there, and then this side. <sighs> clean, clean. Oh, what's up, dude? You can see it. You see all the algae now. Good. Compared to this top this top section over here. And three hours later, you'll have a pretty clean glass. Make sure that you're applying even pressure on the razor because that's what you don't want. Like a a digging into the glass. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That is how I clean the glass on my fish tank. Thanks for tuning in to another Fish Tank Friday. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. New fish videos every Friday. Bunch of different content throughout the week. You don't want to miss it. Uh, la, 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 la. That's going to do it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Later.